All right, yo, what is going on, guys? So this is my first video. It is the Dev King here. I know my name is kind of cheesy, but um, I hope you guys enjoy the name, actually. But anyways, it's the Dev King here, and I'm going to be starting my scripting or beginner scripting tutorial. So uh, this is it, guys. Um, basically, in this tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you guys everything there is about scripting, from printing to functions to loops to events to remote functions everything okay like i want to teach you guys everything so you can make awesome games like games on the front page such as jailbreak and you know meep city and all that stuff i'm going to be teaching you guys everything about scripting and how to do it all so if you want to learn completely how to script then this is how you do it guys all right anyways um before we get into the video i just want to uh, announce one thing um i just want to shout out peace pod okay like he i learned a lot from him like a few months ago and it's hard to learn sometimes when you're doing scripting tutorials because sometimes they just stop or they leave a gap in the video and like you like kind of get confused. But I'm gonna be replying to almost every comment or every comment as I can, and I'll also have some other of my scripting friends come uh, reply to your comments as well so they can help you out. And if you're in the comment section below and you see someone's comment and you think you know the answer, just give them the answer. I mean, like if you think you can help them, you know, at least attempt to. All right. Anyways, um, that's all I wanted to say. And uh, let's get into your first video or first tutorial. So, first things first, you're gonna need to download Roblox Studio. So the link to it is going to be in the description below. It's just roblox.com/create, but the link's in the description below if you don't want to type that in. Anyways, after you have it open and installed, you're just gonna want to go ahead and go to New, and you're gonna want to hit All Templates. And now All Templates means basically like Roblox gives you a few like beginner templates to start out building your game. Although we want to make our own game from scratch, so we're not going to use any of these. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. Anyways, all templates, and then hit base plate. And now it'll just start up the server for you, so give that a second. So now it's open, and um, you have everything you need. So I'm not going to be like, um, or I am going to be actually explaining like almost everything there is to know about this. So um, if you already had a bit, a bit of experience with a Studio, might want to go to you might want to go to the next tutorial because this one is going to be like from the ground up. But if you want to review, that's fine too. So anyways, uh, workspace, okay, I'm gonna explain what the workspace is, okay? So the workspace is uh, basically just everything you can see, okay? So everything I can see right now is the workspace. All right, so if I add a part in here, it's in the workspace. Now if I put it to server storage, you can't see it anymore because it's in server storage. Now I'll explain all this other stuff in this, and like all this stuff in a later video because it's uh, a bit more advanced, but all you need to know for now is this. Now, anyways, I'm going to delete that part, but um, I'm sorry, if you guys don't have like the Explorer or Properties or Output shown up, you're going to want to go ahead and um, go to the View tab at the top of your screen, all right, and then you're just going to want to go hit um, Explorer and Properties and Output. Make sure they're all grayed out, and you can move them around too by just doing this, so it's pretty kind of, it's actually kind of cool, because I usually have mine like this, like Explorer on here and Properties on here, but um for beginner's sake and uh, for how like it looks by default, I'll keep it like this. So anyways, um, now I'm going to explain to you a few basic features of a part because you're going to need to know that for scripting. And um, open, and I'll show you uh, how to make your first script and then the next video will actually start scripting. So yeah, anyways, um, so let's go ahead and insert a part. So to insert a part, you don't want to go to the home tab or the model tab and then you want to click the part button. Okay, pretty simple. Not that hard. Now, if you go to part and you click on it in the in the workspace, right? This will give you all the properties for that part. Now, um, so you'll be doing this every single day in hand in hand. That's what you do. And um, there are a bunch of cool like uh, features or variables is what you call them. And you can change all of these values and variables with properties, or you can do it with script. So um, it depends what you want to do, like while the game's running. But if you want, if you can like build something, you don't have to really use a script for it, which is kind of cool. But anyways, so let's go ahead and explain like a few basic properties and which ones we need. Okay, so you're gonna want to click on the part, and um, you can change the brick color. So I'll make it really blue. So <laughs> the brick color is called really blue, and I can make it uh, yellow. That's what it's called, new yellow. So yellow, and uh, yeah, basically just color. I'm gonna make it like a little uh, nice white, or that's actually a violet. But anyways. Um, let's go ahead and change the material. So the material is just, um, it's pretty simple, the material. So, um, that's foil, that's brick, that's concrete. I'm sure you got the gist by now, it's the material. That's sand, okay? So, uh, you'll be using this in your games depending on what you like to use. Uh, my personal favorite type of material is smooth brick, it just looks, or smooth plastic. It just looks really nice. And, uh, you know, there's no, like, material on it. It's just, like, kind of, like, clean, 
nice walls and good for building in my opinion but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and move this up a little bit so we can click on it get the move tool and you can move it up and you also have the scale tool and stuff the scale tool basically scales it so you can move it like this or you can move it like this or you can move it like this or like this so yeah that's pretty obvious but and then you have a rotate tool which is just like you can turn it like on the y-axis or on this axis or on this axis to make it look really cool but um if you're wondering how I'm like undoing all this stuff or like like yeah, yeah undoing it um if you press control z it'll actually undo what you did and you press control y it'll redo what you did that's very useful you'll be using that all the time that also works when you're um, using scripts so anyways um now that i've shown you that i want to show you a few more uh, features of this so obviously you have the name which is um I'm going to name it my part and then you have the class name. The class name is basically what it is. Okay. So like if I have a, um, I'm trying to give an example. If I have a, um, like a different thing, it'll be called a different class name. So this is terrain. This is the, the camera. So that by default, like the name or what you'd actually call it. But anyways, don't worry about that right now. So orientation is just the rotation. Don't worry about that either. Um, you might not be using that for a little while, so this is just, I'll show you real quick, so I can press 90, or type in 90, and it'll turn it all the way around on one side. So, that's a little bit more advanced, but don't worry about it. So, anyways, um, we'll go back to the part. So, the position is the same thing, you can move it around with, with the coordinates, so you can get exact values. So, boom, I just moved it back to the 0 on the Z, and I'll move it to 0 on the X. So, boom, now it's in the exact center, so that's kind of cool. Um, anyways. Um, <clears throat> anchored, archivable, and can collide are um, the all these kind of features, okay, and locked. Now you're going to be using the anchored and can collide the most. Archivable, just leave that checked. Don't even worry about that. Um, this will be the most important. Can okay, collide and anchored, or yeah. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what anchored and can collide does. So if you have to play, press play. Sorry, um, the blo the block is in the air, right? But it'll it's going to fall down. Now, um, you may be wondering, like, why it fell down, because it was in the air, right? Like, it's, it's in the air. So, you'd think it'd stay in the air. But, um, currently, Roblox applies, like, basic, like, physics. So, um, like, gravity, if that's too advanced, don't worry about that. Gravity is basically just, like, stuff that pushes stuff down. But, don't worry about that. So, if you press anchored, basically, none of these stuff will affect it, okay? So, if you press anchored, it'll just stay exactly where it was when the game started. So, anchored just makes it stay where it is, okay? That's pretty simple. So you can jump on it, make obvious, you know, whatever you want to do. And now you have the can collide part. I want to move it down just a little bit because I want to be able to like walk. All right, okay, I'll show you. <laughs> but uh, so can collide. By default, can collide is checked. Okay, now can collide pretty obvious in the name. It means you can collide with it. Okay, so if I touch it, it will collide with me and it'll bounce off me, or I can jump on it. Now if I turn it off and I hit play, uh, what happens is it'll actually you'll go through it so like as you can see here i'm walking through the brick i can't jump on or anything because i can't collide with it so let's say you can make like walls you can walk through and stuff which is pretty cool you can change and the best part is you can change all the stuff with scripts okay so i can change every single one of these values like all of these with a script so when you're in the game and you need to do it in the game like how you make doors and stuff you would just do that now, also, I forgot to mention transparency and reflectance. So, uh, transparency is just, like, obviously transparent. If you put it at 0.5, it'll be halfway see-through. You know, you can't really see all the way through it. And if you put it at 1, it will be all the way see-through. So, you can see all the way through it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to keep mine at 0. And reflectance, also pretty simple. Um, how much it reflects. So, as you can see, while I move it, you can see that's reflecting the sky and those clouds and the sun. So, yeah, that's kind of cool, too. Anyways, um, that is your first tutorial. So that's pretty simple, guys. This is how you make your first little um, block and basic uh, intro to studio. But I'm going to show you guys how to insert a script real quick. So um, you're going to click on Workspace. You're going to hit the plus button, and you're going to type in script. All right. Now you have the script. All right. So um, the script will run in Workspace or server script service. If it's anywhere else, the script will not run. So make sure it's either in here or in here. Now, also, one basic thing. Um, I want to tell you is printing okay so printing is basically just like um, you can print stuff to the output okay not actually printing <laughs> like with like a paper or anything but printing you see as if uh, by default that script had print hello world in it now it printed hello world into the output so yeah 
that's our first tutorial, and uh, yeah, in the next video we'll be scripting, probably using variables, or uh, showing you some more printing, uh, or maybe both, but yeah. Anyways guys, I hope this video wasn't too long, and I hope you subscribe, and like the video. If you like the video, it makes me, lets me know that I like, or you like it, and I can make more of them. So, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And also, guys, if you want to just watch a playlist of all these, because you may be watching it, like, months after I've posted it, which would be still relevant, but... Um, you may be watching like months after I posted it. There's probably gonna be a playlist in the description below, so we can just like look through all of that once instead of having to you know go find it and stuff. So uh, I recommend using that playlist down below and just saving it or something. All right. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.